In this worksheet, we learn more about loving kindness meditation, sometimes referred to in Sanskrit as Maitri or in Pali as Metta. And we can extend this loving kindness meditation to ourselves, to our loved ones, to strangers, to challenging people, and to all beings everywhere as we see fit and as we need to. So before we begin, what have you brought mindful awareness to you today? Let's just check in with what we're feeling right here, right now in the heart, the mind, body, breath, and even what we're noticing about our environment or the space around us. And before we begin, bring kind awareness to why it is that you chose this topic. What was it about loving kindness meditation that drew you in? Aware of how your belly, your chest, and your head feel right now and commit to staying aware as we go through the worksheet. Aware too of any emotions that you associate with those physical feelings or any emotions in general that arise. Aware right now, if you're already assigning positive or negative stories to the topic, or if there are any biases or certain expectations present, and aware of that too as we go through the worksheet. And then stay aware and remember that you're not the only one who feels the way you do. Aware also that however it is you're feeling right now can certainly change. And it can change at any point as we move through the worksheet. And then aware of how it is that you might apply what it is that you learn today about loving kindness meditation to your day-to-day -day life. So how might we translate the benefits of this practice into the quote-unquote real world? So loving kindness meditation. This is a traditional heart opening practice. And again, you might have heard this meditation referred to as Metta in the Pali language or as Maitri in the Sanskrit language. Loving kindness meditation is a Buddhist meditation practice, but you do not have to be a Buddhist to try it, right? All of us can benefit by meditating on compassion and all of us can benefit through the practice of opening our heart. And why? Well, when we're ruminating on our own pain and suffering, we're thinking about ourselves. And thinking about ourselves, in fact, only causes us more pain. All of our suffering comes from putting ourselves first or thinking about ourselves too much. Thinking that we need to get ours, that we need to win somehow or get certain things before others get theirs, right? Keeps us trapped in this sense of competition. And competition only works when we believe that we're separate from others. It traps us in the belief also that there's not enough of the good stuff to go around. In truth though, we're all connected and every single thing in this life that is to provide us with lasting happiness is available in great abundance, without limit, most especially love. So we benefit when we open our hearts and we act more compassionately towards others. By shifting the focus on ourselves to focus on others, by extending loving kindness to others, we realize that we're all connected. We practice giving versus receiving to realize that we already have everything that it is that we need and we have enough of it to give, right? So we're going to begin by practicing a simple version of a loving kindness meditation. Find a comfortable seat in a quiet place where you can be free from distractions. Sit up tall, close your eyes. Seal your lips and begin to breathe gently, patiently, quietly, in and out through your nose. 
spending some time here just with breath. Allowing awareness of breath to guide your attention inwards. And to help you get settled in this space. This moment in time. And as the energy around and within you begins to settle, begins to get further grounded, imagine a soft, warm, and glowing light at the center of your heart. Feel that light as vibrant. You could picture it as a color, perhaps a purple, a blue, a red, or crystal clear. See it pulsing. Feel its warmth, its aliveness. This is your abundant source of love. And now bring to mind a loved one, someone whom you personally know and care deeply about. And picture them sitting directly across from you, sitting the same way that you are now. And you're looking at them face to face. And then we'll imagine this warm and vibrant, glowing light expanding from the center of our heart to theirs as we think the following four thoughts. May this person have all the happiness in the world and all the causes for future happiness. And as you send them that wish for happiness, Feel this bridge of light from your heart to theirs, growing or getting stronger. Sensing light expand out from your chest as a bubble or a rainbow or a ray of light. May this person have all the happiness in the world and all the causes for future happiness. And then think to yourself, may this person be free from all their pain and free from the causes of future pain. And as you send that wish to your loved one, to your friend, sense the warmth, the infinite, infinite source of light moving from your heart to theirs, see their own heart filling up with light and warmth. May they be free from their pain and free from all causes of future pain. And then your third wish for this person, may this person whom I love May they never be separated from joy. Sense, feel, see, even more light extending from your heart to theirs. Perhaps filling their whole body with light as you send them this third wish. May they never be separated from joy. And then send them this fourth wish. May this person who I love, may they live in a state of contentment, free from grasping to anything and free from aversion to things as well. And as you send them that wish, send them even more light even more warmth. 
sense this infinite source of love traveling from your body to theirs. May they live in a state of contentment, free from attachment and free from aversion. See your friend having received these thoughts, now happy and content, their body glowing with this light, this warmth, this vibrancy, this love. Sense how in your own body, after having given so much, there's no feeling of lack, just a feeling of abundance. And in fact, your friend perhaps glowing so brightly now that you receive back some of that warmth, some of that glow and that vibrancy and that love. And then sit with the sensation of how this feels in your body. Having given your loved one these wishes. Having extended to your loved one love and kindness. And stay in that feel-good sensation for as long as you'd like. Until you're ready to slowly open your eyes and move on. So loving kindness meditation. We'll check in here with a few questions to help deepen mindful awareness of the meditation we just did. Feel free to hit pause at any time if you'd like more time to contemplate your answers or more time to write things down. So begin by describing your experience with the meditation in general. What was it like? And then who was it that you chose? your friend, your loved one, someone who you are close to as the beneficiary of your light? And why is it that you chose this person? What did it feel like as you imagined light traveling from your heart to theirs? And as we sent them some wishes, wish for happiness, for example, we not only sent them happiness, but we sent them all the causes for future happiness. What do you think that means? Why did we do it that way? And then what did it feel like to send your friend the wish of freedom? from their pain? And then likewise, perhaps, why did we also send them freedom from the causes of pain? We sent a wish of joy. Do you think that it's possible to live with joy in your heart always? We ask that our friend never be separated from joy. Why did we send that wish? And then we sent our friend a wish for contentment, freedom from grasping to things and equally freedom from aversion. So how is it that grasping to things or an aversion to certain things might cause us pain or suffering or sorrow? When you think of this word, contentment, 
What comes to mind? Contentment is sometimes referred to as the highest level of happiness. Why do you think this might be so? While sending these wishes to your friends, could you feel in your body, could you feel your friend receive them or notice their response? And if so, or even if not, how did that make you feel? These four wishes in particular are sometimes referred to as the four infinite thoughts. What do you think it is that makes these thoughts infinite? And these questions have no right or wrong. If we could recognize and remember our connection to others all of the time, our connection, how might that make us live our lives differently? This meditation in particular is a compassion meditation. It's designed to increase our capacity for sending love and compassion and kindness to others. And do you agree that you personally would benefit from helping others? So we did this meditation in particular today with a friend, with someone whom we love and care deeply about, someone we personally know. As you get more practiced with this meditation, we can begin to try switching out the person that we're sending these four wishes to. So perhaps we can send wishes to someone we hardly know, a stranger, an acquaintance someone to whom we have no particular feelings of like or dislike. And then eventually we could try the meditation with a person who presents us with a challenge. What does it feel like to send a difficult or challenging person all these same four wishes? We can try this meditation with ourselves as both giver and receiver, picturing our own self sitting across from us, right? So after each of these meditations, we can then go back and run through the same questions that we just did and see what happens as we switch out who it is that's receiving our compassion. So let's review. We often make the mistake in thinking that in order to be happy, we first must get everything that we need or we want, right? We say things like, I will be happy when, or I will be happy if. But happiness is not something from outside of us that we can get. Happiness, true happiness, contentment, freedom from our pain, these are all mindsets that only come from within. They arise all on their own when we realize we already have everything that we need and that we are already perfect and whole. So giving away happiness to others can help us understand that we already have this happiness within. When we give away happiness to others, this action assumes that we already have enough. And this works with every type of giving, money included, right? When your subconscious sees you sharing happiness, it's reminded that you have happiness to share. So by practicing compassion meditations and by working within our current capacity, we can gradually expand and increase our capacity to share love and happiness. Because there's no such thing as running out. Love 
happiness, contentment, these things come from a limitless, limitless, infinite resource within, and we can learn to give more and more over time. When we share love and happiness freely, we're cueing the consciousness to understand that we must be happy people. By taking the action of sending well wishes to others, we realize that wealth and wellness is already abundant within us and we have a limitless amount to give. And in giving is how we truly, truly receive.